I'm going to teach you how to make cars in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So it's kind of an intro level course too. There's a lot more advanced stuff we can do, but I'm going to show you the basics and the best place to convert your Zonai charges into the parts you need to make a car. Also, we're going to talk briefly about auto build and how to use that to replicate your car whenever you want. So right behind me, we have what is probably the most basic car. There's actually two cars. There's small wheels and big wheels for the basics. Small wheel cars are only good for planes because they can't really navigate hills very well. The catch is though that they are super fast. Like this is the fastest car in the game. And my God, is this thing fast? It's actually mind boggling how fast it is. It feels so good to drive this thing around. The other variation would be with the bigger wheels and it would be much slower, but then you can navigate much steeper, hillier, just janky terrain in general. Okay, so in order to make this, at least this variant, you just need some kind of platform to stand on. You need the steering column and then you need wheels. And in order to get most of those parts, the best place to go is a place down in the depths. And there's this uh, device dispenser that has most of those things, not all of them, but three out of uh, three of them that you'll be able to get right here. Now, in order to get here, the easiest way to get to this one is to go to the Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower. Go ahead and get that while you're there. And then go into this hole in the ground, which will spit you out right here. Then from there, you can go up here and get a light route and then wrap around this hill and come over here and get a light route over here and a light route over here. And then once you have this one, the uh, Muokujij, uh, Mu whatever, light route, you'll be able to take it in order to go into this cave. And inside of that cave, you can, you know, hit something that has rockets to shoot up in the air and then come over to this little area and get a device dispenser. And then put your Zonai charges in this one to get small wheels, big wheels, and steering sticks, as well as other helpful things like rockets and wings. This is just a really good device dispenser in general. And then for the cart, you can find it in a lot of different places. Uh, so the other ones, you know, in order to get other Zonai charges, you have to go into the sky usually. So what you'll do is you'll go to, say, Typhlo Ruin Skyview Tower, and then you'll fly over to the uh, platform. And you'll kind of do that to get to whichever one. So what we have right here is one that has a cart, a wing, a fan, and a beam emitter. And then we have one over here that has a cart, a cannon, construct head, stake, homing cart. So the one up here you can get from this sky tower. And then you land right here and then build a little device as you fly up to the next one. You get this shrine up here and you come here whenever you want. As for this one over here, uh, there's a sky view tower here. Uplands around a sky view tower. You get that one, shoot into the sky and go flying into the hole on this giant rotating sphere. Get this shrine and go to this one whenever you want and get the carts. Uh, there's also sleds, which you can get, you know, I don't know all the locations, but you can get them, I think, up here. Yeah, sleds. And there was another one south somewhere. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, from also down here. So... But there's probably more than that. Then once you have all those, you only need to build it one time if you have auto build. So in order to get auto build, I have a full guide for auto build, but the TLDR is you can go to the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower and then glide on over to this hole in the ground. And then from that hole in the ground, will take you to this light route. And then you go from that light route to here. It'll do a quest. It'll fight a boss. And if you, beat, if you can beat the boss, then you get the auto build ability, which I highly recommend if you're going to be making cars. It'll let you memorize what you've made, and then instead of using parts, you can just use Zeonite, or Zonite, or whatever. And it's expensive on Zonite to do this, but if you farm it up enough of it, it's pretty good. I honestly save my normal Zonite for building cars, and I only use my large Zonite for the battery upgrades is what I prefer to do. I just think it's smarter to do as far as for the sake of having fun in a video game. So anyway, once you have all that, now you're really good to go. So, I mean, you can also throw down extra parts and mix and match. So, like, I can throw down, like, a couple wheels and then, you know, use the auto build to finish off the build and it would use less zonite then. But let's go ahead and build one from scratch. I'll show you how to do this. We're going to have to use Alter Hand in order to do it. So let's do the big wheeled one since we have the small wheel one right behind us. I'll also show you some upgrades we can do to it as well. So we're going to need four wheels. So we'll take out four of these. So there's our wheels. And then we're also going to need the steering stick. But before we bother with that, let's go ahead and with this one, we could use carts, but I only have one cart right now. So let's use sleds instead. And first off, what we'll do is we'll take out a sled and we'll put the wheels on it. So uh, actually, if you want to make a crazy one, you want to actually build it before you put the wheels because then it can lock it in kind of weird. So let's actually build a fancy one. And just know this, the more parts you put on, the faster it's going to drain your battery because the heavier that your vehicle is uh, and the more parts on it, the harder it is to move and therefore the more battery it uses. So something I'm going to do here to make a fancy one is I'm going to take these sleds and I'm going to stick them on the sides. Not like that though. I'm going to stick them on the sides like that. 
I'm going to rotate this one, and I'm going to try to get him symmetrical. Stick it on the side like that. And then if there's room for this one, it's sometimes it's hard to get the last one in here. We can... Yeah, there's just enough room. The sleds are way better than the carts, by the way. They fit way better. So we can try to put this one on. I'm trying to get to where it'll attach in the front and not on the side, but it's easier said than done. Okay, so now we have this, which looks kind of hilarious. And then we can take the wheels and put them on. Now, the easiest way to do this would be to flip this upside down and then take the wheels and look for the arrows. You see which way the arrow's facing? That's where the wheel's going. So we want it to go uh, forward like this. So then we're going to get it like this and we're going to look for the attachment. These big wheels have to be... The small wheels can do whatever. Big wheels have to be attached on the side. If they're placed like this, like above, then they're not going to attach. Like they're not going to rotate. It has to be that gear thing and it has to be attached perfectly sideways. So let's attach it right there for now. And then let's take one and try to balance it out. We're about to attach it at an angle now because it might try to put it on at an angle now. No, we got it. Okay, we're good. All right, now it's balanced better, so now we can more easily finish it off. So we'll go ahead and take this one, and then we'll attach it uh, right here. Now, you could make a bigger car by uh, putting together more sleds. Like, I could have the car be way bigger, or I could just use random stuff. Man, it is really hard to get the spot I want to get. There's a specific spot I want to get. Oh, I give up. Well, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I just need to show you how to make cars. I don't even make the perfect car right now. Okay, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to attach it in ideally that same location. Oh, it's going to be asymmetrical, isn't it? Oh, that one's not even attached. See like that? It can't, it can't spin now. Okay, it attached to the wheel in front. This thing is way too small for this. Uh, also, these front wheels are way too far back. So we're going to have to take these front wheels and try to move them up further to the front like uh, that or else they're going to be blocking the back wheels. So, um, yeah, let's take this, make sure it's on the right way, put them up there. That should give me more room to work with. Yeah, that looks way better. All right, put it back down like that, grab this wheel, and then we got to put it like this and attach it all the way. I'm just trying to get the height the same. There we go. Okay. Okay. Pain in the ass, but hey, once you make it, you're done if you've auto build. Okay, so now we set this down, and now we just need a steering column. So we'll take out a steering column, and we'll put a steering column on right here. And now we can drive this car. And I screwed the wheels up, I just realized. I have three of them backwards and one of them forwards somehow. I don't know how I wasn't paying attention. Um, let's put these back on then. I don't know how I messed that up. You gotta keep it's really hard to see because the wheels are green when you're doing this and everything's green, and so it's just really damn hard to see see this stuff when you have ultra hand on it. Okay, there we go. It was an easy enough fix. So now we have it. We hold backwards on the left stick to go backwards. Doing nothing will make us go forward now, and holding forward will make us go faster forward. So that is how to control it, and it'll drain the battery as we go. Big wheels use way more energy than small wheels, I think. So for just traveling around, the other car version is better. Uh, and also, if you just are doing it for traveling and stuff, it's better to not put those things on the side and just have the flat platform like that. Now, something else you can do if you're going to go all out on it like this and make a tanky one, we can actually kind of make a tank. So we can take this and we can rotate it around and we can put this on. Um, actually, we want to put this sideways. And we can put one on like this make sure it doesn't attach to the wheels on accident and then we put it up like this and then when we get it, we got to climb in but then we can go in here and now we're almost invincible when we're driving around so even if we get in a fight or our battery dies surrounded by enemies we're probably good and then if you want to go all even crazier on this what you can do is you can take a construct head and then you can look for the eye which is that and then you can attach it at the top of this right here so it can see everything well and then you can pick a weapon in this case let's use the cannon the cannon will be fun so we're going to take a cannon we're going to use the cannon we're going to put it up on top and do that and what that thing will do is whenever an enemy is nearby it will automatically look at it and fire at it 
and I'll be able to demonstrate that right here on these enemies right over here with my hopefully invincible tank. So you can see here the cannon is super OP and I'm in an invincible tank that is now going to kill everything around me. Also, on top of that, you can run enemies over. I'm afraid to get near, though, because that AoE might damage me through the walls of the tank. I actually don't know. Uh, but there we go. A tank. So that's that's how you guys make a tank. Um, so that pretty much covers everything, guys. So now what we do is we go to auto build. And if we want to save any of these things, we can go through our history. The last edition was this. And we can press Y to favorite that. Or we can go to the version that didn't have the weapons on it and pick one of the older versions and favorite it. The favorites will be up here at the top and you can see your favorites and whenever you wanna build one, you can just press it and it'll use 18 Zeonite or whatever it was and then it'll place it down. So hopefully it helped you out guys. If you have any questions about cars, now you know how to craft cars or how to make cars, how to get all the parts, how to get auto build, how to make a tank, how to do all of it in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.